So here we're looking at a series as opposed to a sequence. With this series, we're being asked to see if it converges or diverges just based on plugging in some of the first few terms and getting an intuition for it. So with this one, as with any of these series, when you try to plug in numbers, what happens is you get to choose what n is. So we're making this into just partial sums. We're not going all the way to infinity. Um, so we're going to just plug in a number for here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Uh, however far you want to go until you get an intuition for how it looks. Uh, how it feels. So the way you do this is for the first uh, partial sum, for the first sort of mini version of the series, you plug in 1. You just plug in 1 into there. For the second one, you would think, oh, I plug in 2. No, you don't plug in 2. You don't just plug in 2 because the second partial version of this series is going to have the previous term added. It's going to be like this. You've got the previous term, and then you add the next term, which does have 2 in it instead of 1. And so that's what these series are all about. The actual infinite one would really just... The, the infinite series would be adding all the further uh, integers plugged in. But in our case, we just want to see how this looks. So the third, so the third one would be like you'd have one to the fourth plus one squared plus one to four plus two squared plus, and here we plug in three. We plug in three instead of. So there's two mistakes that you can make. You can make the mistake of thinking, well, you know, it's always 1, so you, you remember that it's all about addition, so you have two terms, but instead of plugging in a different term, you plug in 1 on both sides. You plug in 1 here, you plug in 1 here, you plug in 1 here, and you think the 3 here just means you have three terms. No, that's, that's not what this is all about. That would be completely wrong. The other mistake you can make is to think, to forget that it's even about addition here, and to instead just list them like if this was a sequence, and you plug in one here, you plug in two here, you plug in three here, and it's just one term that you're working with. That's not the case. You have to remember that what we're doing here with what a, a series really represents is addition. And if we go to infinity, that would be an infinite amount of terms that we're adding. Uh, but each successive term contains the next integer, all the way up to the integer that's here. So here it's not an integer. I mean, it goes on forever. But here we have an integer 1. Here we have an integer 2. Here we have an integer 3. The 1 doesn't change because the 1 is the one we start at. You know, if we had a 2 in here, we could start it at 2. And then go. the next one would be 3 and so on. So that's how these series and, you know, partial little versions of the series work. And so the question was, in the first place, does this um, seem to converge or diverge? Just based on an intuition. And if you plug this into a calculator, you get 0 0.5, you get 0 0.55, you get 0.561111 then you get 0 0.564 something, then you get 0 0.566, then you get 0 0.567. Just from the sound of it, does it seem like it's converging or diverging? The next one, by the way, 0 0.5674 something, the next one 0 0.5677. Does it sound like, yes, it sounds like that's converging because it's, it's getting to a number. Um, and it, if it was going to diverge, it, was, it would just be crazy. It would be all over the place. It wouldn't seem like it's going to a number here. It seems like it's going to like 0 0.567 something. Um, 
it is it is getting gradually to some number. So that's what this is. 